Hello, my name is Simon Prince. I'm a child and youth worker. Today, I'm going to be reading the story, What Do You Do With a Problem? Written by Ko Kobe Yamati and illustrated by Mae Benson. I don't know how it happened, but one day I had a problem. I didn't want it, I didn't ask for it, and I really didn't like having the problem, but there it was. Why is it here? What does it want? What do you do with a problem, I thought. I want to make it go away. I shoot it, I scold it at it, I tried ignoring it, but nothing worked. I started to worry about my problem. What if it swallowed me up? What if my problem sneaks up on me and gets me? What if it takes all my things away? I worried a lot. I worried about what would happen. I worried about what could happen. I worried about this and I worried about that. And the more I worried, the bigger my problem became. I wish it would just disappear. I tried everything I could to hide from it. I even found a way to disguise myself, but it still found me. And the more I avoided my problem, the more I saw it everywhere. I thought about it all the time. I didn't feel good at all. I couldn't take it anymore. This has to stop, I declared. Maybe I was making the problem bigger and scarier than it actually was. After all, my problem hadn't really swallowed me up or attacked me. I realized that I had to face it. So even though I didn't want to, even though I was really afraid, I got ready and tackled my problem. When I got face to face with it, I discovered something. My problem wasn't what I thought it was. I discovered it had something beautiful inside. My problem held an opportunity. It was an opportunity for me to learn and to grow, to become brave, to do something. It showed me that it was important to look closely because some opportunities only come once. So now I see my problems differently. I'm not afraid of them anymore because I know their secret. Every problem has an opportunity for something good. You just have to look for it. And that's the end of the book. Thank you. So now that we've reached the end of the book, I want everybody at home to think about a problem that they've had. Maybe it was a small problem. It didn't seem that big. Maybe it was big and scary and you weren't sure what to do. Think about what you did. Now, if you're thinking of a problem where you didn't know what to do, or maybe that problem's still happening, it might be a good idea to go talk to maybe your mom or your dad, an aunt, an uncle, a grandparent, one of your friend's parents, a teacher, or another grown-up that you trust. They're pretty good at helping with problems. Now, maybe you've gone through a problem, or you're still going through that problem, and after reading this book you go, well, there's a beautiful piece to my problem then. So what's my beautiful piece? That's another good reason to go talk to adult that you trust. Maybe they can help you find the good thing out of your problem, the beautiful piece. Once you've thought about the problem, you can go talk to your parent or another tra trusted adult. Or maybe on your own you've come up with something, come up with a solution to a problem you currently have, or maybe you thought of the beautiful piece. You can still go talk to them about it.
This is the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.